Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Digital Experience Retro. Uh, today is Thursday, October 19th. Uh, we'll go over the last two-week period, uh, things that went well and things to improve on. Um, I've got the first thing for things that went well. Um, quick shout out to Tina. Um, for uh, I worked with her on the Atlassian page, um, and the content was constantly changing, which led to design changes. And there's a lot of back and forth and a lot of wrangling different opinions and, and distilling all of that so that I just have one source of truth to look at, which is really, really helpful. So thank you so much for all of the back and forth. I think I still have a few tweaks to make, but you know, we'll get there. <laughs> I'll pass it to Barker. Yeah, uh, I got a got a few here. First shout out, Javi and Tina, that Why GitLab page. That was a huge push and it we made the deadline. Sid looked at it 10 a.m. this morning and it's it's good. It's an awesome page. And it really is like big for GitLab. It's like GitLab, GitHub. So thank you. Awesome work, everyone there. Um, pass it to Tina, vocalize her point. Echoing thanks to Javi. I know that was bonkers. So thanks, Javi. Um, and then back to Laura. Thank you so much. That Atlassian and the life page is huge. And that slipped that in. And uh Billy was talking about it in our inbound marketing meeting and was like, oh hey, guess what? The page is live. And he's like, what? And everyone was really excited to see that. So um, awesome job there. Uh, Philza. Yeah, I stuck in there, Laura, Lauren. Um, but yeah, no, thank you, uh, Tina, Laura, Javi, everyone. I know it's, it was a lot and I know it was a very quick turnaround and, but I just want to reiterate it's such, both of those pages are so high priority. Like both of them are like, you know, e-group level visibility. So for us to get that done and out in time and they look beautiful, which is amazing. Um, thank you so much to everyone that was involved in that. Lauren. Yeah. And then shout out to Nathan to building those release plans. We've got a lot of work ahead of us next week, but it's nice to see like the amount of work and it's listed out and we got a plan. So thanks for building those. Uh, pass it to Laura for things to improve on. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I know that like we just did a bunch of congratulations for these quick turnaround pages and they they are beautiful. Um, but I saw Javi making commits at like 5.30, 6 a.m. my time, which time change I think is like 3 a.m. his time. Um, I, I really, I don't want to make a habit of that. And I don't know how, if there's a way that we can push back on, on the super, super tight timelines, you know, like um, is even though Sid loved the page, could that have been a review app that he looked at? Like, do we need to get this out that quickly? Are there other things that we could do? Um, you know, even with the CMS, when we get the CMS up and running, I don't think that that speeds things up because this is a page that still would have need to been like built. It's kind of like a one-off page. So uh, yeah, I, I would hope that we can improve on on those, those overnighters, you know? Um, yeah, it looks great, but at what cost? Uh, I think Nathan has a sub point. Yeah, it's not about this specifically, but uh, just about these requests in general. Um, I do find it hard to plan and like give dates for, sorry, you can hear Wolf in the background, uh, for when things are due. And then I had a good chat with Michael last week about like keeping, okay, Wolf, please, I'm in a meeting. Okay, I'm going to let someone else go first and then I'll uh, I'll jump in after. So Megan, do you want to hop in here? Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I know like since I've been here and even past jobs, like things happen, like Sometimes, sometimes you just have to get things out the door. They're very high priority as we've discussed, but like, is there a way we can make this a, when it becomes a problem, like a team problem versus like, wow, one or two people have to pull some all-nighters when I'm sure they have many things going on in their personal life. Like, are there things like if, if someone is available at night, could, could they have stepped up and helped? Like, just kind of communicating that or if something had to be reviewed early a.m could we have had someone on deck to do that before um we're we're a great team i'm sure there'd be people to step up if someone needed help but it only works if we're all aware of what's going on um it's just one idea i had you good nathan yeah sorry he came in with mini sticks they're like mini hockey sticks for you americans but uh <laughs> he wanted to play mini sticks right like an airbnb right now so 
anyways, um, yeah, I had a good chat with Michael last week about like keeping the main thing, the main thing. And I know a lot of these things popping up are, are really important, but I find if the main thing right now is the CMS, like it's really hard to stay on track with all these incoming requests. So anyway, that's just my opinion or my, my thoughts for the last couple of weeks. Cause we lost like three engineers, I think last iteration. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it for me. Sorry. I ran upstairs. So I'm out of breath, but, uh, Lauren, I think you have the next one. Yeah, I, I can kind of give like a, a rundown of the, the timeline. Um, Phil's that gave me a heads up Friday. This page is, this page is happening. Um, you know, that was near the end of day. So teed up with Javi on a Monday. It's like, this thing's happening. Like, let's get it set up. We got to move the current wide GitLab page over to this new URL. Like we could just get that started. And that's kind of a big chunk of work right off the bat. Content wasn't done. Design still changing all the, the standard stuff. Um, and then uh, I think Tina and Javi synced Tuesday, got a line on all the, the template. And then yesterday morning came down like the hard ask, like, hey, we need this page today. We need it today. And I, I was really clear. I was like, no, we're not getting it done today. Like this will be an all night thing. Like if we're going to make the, you know, the 10 AM thing, like there is no way that's happening unless people work like, um, extra hours. Um, so that was communicated up. So I know that leadership's aware of that and they don't, they don't like that either. They don't want to do this either. So I think there's room for improvement here. Um, yeah. And being transparent of like, that was that was a big ask for our team. Yeah. Yeah. I think this isn't like the way that we want to operate. We're aware of that, but um I think it's a good reminder. I think also like it depends on how often things like this are happening. Like obviously if this is happening once a month, it's like unacceptable, you know? Um so I mean we probably need to figure out what that cadence, what is acceptable kind of a thing, but these things will happen. Um, and then I think to Megan's point, that's a fair point. I did tell Tina, because I know she has obviously childcare responsibilities, like reach out to the team if they need help. I just, I like, um, same with Javi. Like, I know you obviously like have school and things like that. Like you have other responsibilities. So um, that's something I think Lauren and I, like we will leave that up to the folks that we're asking to deliver this work. If they do need to reach out, like absolutely, please do. We would never say no to that. We'd never say it's only on you that can do it. Um, please reach out. And again, if you you have personal things that you're like, I cannot do this this evening, like let us know and we'll we'll figure out something else too. It's not ideal for any of us. I know that timing was just absolute not great, but I mean, we did it and hopefully we don't have to do this again very often, if ever. Okay, I'll roll into a more positive note. Uh, the We had our um, dashboard meeting yesterday about the awesome metrics, unified dashboard we have. Check it out so much cool data to see like from the start to end of how we're getting customers. Um, and Michael brought up a good point of like, can we use our change log to mark like, oh, hey, there's a big change in our metrics. Does this line up for like a big change we did? Like the last major shift when we went from 1.0 to 2.0 was the localized marketing site release, which is huge. It's a whole different experience for how our users like navigate through the site. It'd be really interesting to be like, oh, look, that totally lines up with this shift in our metrics. Um, and so let's just make sure that we're using those semantic commits and that change log is looking good because we're going to have some more eyes on it. Any last thoughts? Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. And we will see you next time.